Germany. It's known for many things. The Autobahn, their top tier engineering, and of course, being a GDQ meme. But you see, the thing behind that meme is it's real. Germans love speedrunning. And what do you get when you take that love of speedrunning and gaming and combine it with the top tier engineering that Germany is known for? Well, you get Nemesis, another banger ROM hack. This game features incredible platforming and quite possibly the most personality I've ever seen in a Mario ROM hack. Not to mention it pays honor to one of the video game's absolutely most underrated enemies, Soda Popinski. Let's check out what this game has to offer. Okay, so we're just gonna start this game and let's see, let's see how it goes. Whoa, I gotta pause for a second. Look at all these custom blocks. This is insane. Know that everything here is a reskin and he had to physically, manually go through and reskin every block in this game. The amount of time that had to take is insane. Husband start. We're not playing as Mario, we're playing as husband. Story in a Mario game? Oh, come on. You're playing Pleasman, and you wake up one morning in your rancid shack. A horrible garbage shack. I woke up in the middle of Elden Ring, the lands between my rancid shack. Your shack. Let's go in our shack. Start and select to exit a level at any time. Select on the overworld to save your progress. Have fun. Good luck. There are two secret exits in the hack, and you don't need them to complete the game. Try to find all eight retro pipes hidden in several levels. All right, we're starting in a literal... We live in a construction zone, though, apparently. I mean, look, we also live in an area of the world that's being renovated. You know, it might bring some yuppies and things to the town. Bet my property value is going up, so... I got that going for me. Okay, so I can just hit block. Make sure to hit all the shatter blocks. Pressed her into a 2D portrait. What did he do that? I don't remember that. Bowser Jr. is Peach's offspring. Anytime anyone says Bowser Jr. is Peach's offspring, I know they didn't finish. <laughs> didn't finish uh, Sunshine. Yeah, you just admitted to being a casual fucking gamer. This first level is pretty tight. Oh, that's tight too. Oh. That's a retro pipe. I see the retro pipe. Hey, Fall. Hello, Plesbin. My name is Plebby Potter, and this room is dedicated to Napal. Thank you for everything you do for the community. Everyone loves you. Stay who you are. You are great. Function. All right. Shout out. Shout out to that man. I don't know who he is. Shout out to him. The Mario community is wholesome. Shout out. like that. I wish there was one less spike there on the left. Uh, okay. We're going. Alright. Checkpoint. Whew. I was going to be annoyed if I missed that. Alright. This is a... This hack is pretty hard. I'm just going to say it. There are some relatively tough jumps right here. Oh, okay, the little meat. You know what's funny is Chamba World just had those same blocks. The make the dinosaurs big again block. But the little meat of it is super adorable. My dad has a 69 Corvette. Nice, I know. And it's his baby. Like, it's his thing. You know, he's had it forever and ever and ever. It's all original parts on it. But it doesn't have power steering or power brakes or, like, analog brakes or anything. Like, it's, like, a pain in the ass to drive. One day, it's going to be mine. And on that day... Wait, 
Do I need to do any of that? I'm either gonna sell it right away or I'm gonna fucking somehow. Can you like put power brakes and power steering in cars? Is that a thing you can do? Classic cars? It just seems obnoxious. Place the engine. Yeah, because it uses leaded fuel too. So every time you drive it, it's rotting your brain. Dad, my dad went through two bankruptcies and didn't lose this bet. That's how much he loves it. Oh, he tried to get me. He tried to get me right there. He was really kind. He was a really good dude. Uh, he actually taught me how to drive a stick in the vet, right? And... Oh wow, we're just already opening something up like that. He taught me how to drive a stick on a vet, and he let me drive it around from time to time, you know, if I was gonna try and go to booby or something in high school, or like trying to impress someone. And he let me drive it around. One time I was driving it, me and my brother, and we were in the cut country. I go around a turn, and I downshifted around the turn, and hit the gas, and I spun it out. First time I'd ever spun out a car. I spun it out, complete 180, and then we're edge. We were right on the edge of a ditch. Half the tire was off the ditch. And after that, I drove it home, put it in the garage, covered it up, and I haven't driven it since. Literally haven't driven it since. <laughs> that literally scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I would not be here today if I would have gone in that ditch. My dad would have murdered me. Next level. What in the Donkey Kong country is this? Fuck off? Does that mean fuck off? Oh, oh fuck me. Oh. oh my god. Wait, I didn't even see- I'm not even seeing the- Oh, I see the retro pipe. Some people pay a lot for original cars like that. Uh, it's probably worth a, a, a decent little penny, you know? Mad Tear. Look at that setup, man. Look at that podcast studio these guys have. This room is dedicated to Mad Tears. Thank you for the great hours together in Kaizo Getas. The opportunity to open the world of SMW to so many people. This is super cute. One of the greatest games of all time. You know what I mean? I just feel like they, that's what they feel. That's what they want. And if they have to delay it over and over and over again, they'll do that, you know? Oh, in there. Skyward Sword? I'm sure they thought Skyward Sword was going to be great. Turbo mode. That's not in German. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, well this is what we're doing now. You know, you just jump. No momentum on the jump. Nintendo, I feel like Nintendo should take advantage because I think the PS5 era, the, this this era right here is going to be a really long one. Oh, that's a cool section. That's a really cool section. Why is that jump such a pain? Back in the day, dude, loading screens took forever. You'd wait like a 45 seconds, minute and a half for a fucking loading screen. So fuck you, Bankai Namco. I need to, okay, okay, I see what I need to do. 
I need to wait for the cart to come with me right here. I didn't see the cart below. I was just looking at my character. Hey, that was a cool level and a very tough ending. <laughs> his hand <sighs> I've I've never seen Rob the Robot game ever be played period like I know what it is I know what it does but like I've never seen it be played I've never even watched a YouTube video with Rob the Robot being played oh let's see uh use the ropes and the trees to climb that makes sense no, there's the Gyromancer game. Kid Icarus, 1981. Hi, Fluffy. Shout out to my brother Nils, who keeps the skill average in the family nice and flat so I can shine. Babe. Mm. Babe. Oh, are those ropes? Okay, cool. Very cool. You're glad there's ROMs of every game because Nintendo isn't doing shit to preserve them? Oh, yeah, no. 100,000%. Uh, it's actually kind of weird. How much video game history is actually going... Oh, come on. How much video game history is just off. And like in a hundred years, every cartridge ever is just gonna be worth a ton of cash. Now, fuck. Respawn. I can also say I have the coolest PS5 possibly in the world. Oh, I almost died. Oh, that was so fucking cool. Oh my god, what a cool ending. The only reason I have the disc version- Oh, there's a hidden- there's a hidden exit here, chat. Alright, chat, where is this, um, where is this secret exit? We have to find this secret exit. There it is. There it is. We found it. We found it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Uh. All right, what are we getting here? Oh, we're going down to the rubber ducky. Yellow birds, 3.5. 3 PT was creepy as- oh wow. You can ride Chocobo. You run automatically. If you run into a wall, you will change direction. Google blocks only hold Chocoboos. They're- you are too heavy. That doesn't even make sense. Snozberries taste like snozberries. PS5 has no games. I mean, it has games. Not a lot. Okie dokie. Well, it's an auto run level, chat. You're so bummed Disney owns LucasArts. That was cool. Yeah, you're probably right. Fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, why are up pipes so hard? 
There we go. We're in there. We're in there. Oh, okay. There's more level. This part's cool. Yeah, this is a cute section for sure. My God, why is this so hard? Yeah, I gotta spam hard. It is, it gets Flappy Birds, hold on. Oh my God, all right, all right. I'm holding the controller a different way. I'm holding it like this now, chat. Oh, we're in. Yeah, that level is great. I liked that one a lot. Oh, we're taking a bucket somewhere else. Oh my god, is that Soda Popinski? Wow, this overworld's dope. Legit, Soda Popinski is the second hardest guy in Mike Tyson's punch out. I don't care what anyone says. Tyson, Soda Popinski's number two. Narrator note. Can we just take a minute and appreciate the overworld and all these custom graphics? It's wild the tender love and care that has gone into this. Props to Denson. You used to do blindfolded? Oh, shit, we're going up. Alright, this is a... Oh, oh my. Oh, this is cool. snake oh is that a picture of you two together uh thank you for the time and effort whoa thank you for the time and effort you put in a nemesis during long evening discord sessions oh there's solid snake i feel like it's gonna flop oh i mean i i think it, once they come out with a new a new elder scrolls game it's gonna be fucking banging no, I, I think it's gonna be absolutely great uh, I mean, people have been playing Skyrim for a decade on every goddamn system under the sun, you know? I have no reason to think that... I have no reason to think that the new Elder Scrolls would be bad. I mean, Elder Scrolls Online is still live, clearly making the money. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I just don't think that that's a worry. I mean, Elder Scrolls is the original Elden Ring, you know? As far as open world game with crazy set pieces everywhere. And... No! Oh, why are you so hard? We got it. Oh, shit. Some things don't need to be intimidating and gate kept. You fucking bitch, piece of shit wump. Why are you there under my ass? You know what I should be dedicated to? Fucking sit ups, actually. Because I just realized you guys are all gonna see me. Heard all. How, how do you do this? How do you do this? Yeah. It was fake. It was fake. That's how. I'm falling down a fucking beanstalk. And then there's the Ninja Turtles? Oh my goodness. Secrets of the Ooze. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, Ninja Turtles are right here. I gotta see this level. Yeah, we gotta check this out. 
Gonna be some wall jumping. You need the magic turtle boots to destroy the ooze block. The path to get the boots is paved with gold. What? Is this right here? Yep, the golden Doritos. Deep lore. Deep lore. There we go. Yeah, I feel like parents were just not correction. Thank you for the creativity you put into so many of Nemesis' graphics. Thank you for being part of the community. Ooh, she made the graphic? Very, very impressive. These graphics are incredible. When it kind of comes to all problems, this is going to be a weird, not all problems, but a lot of, like, mental health problems, addiction, things like that. I feel like the number one thing you can do is fill your fucking time. And that's often really hard to do. That's, like, often such a hard step to take. You know what I mean? But you almost, with addiction, you almost replace it with a healthy addiction. Uh, no! A yearly vacation is going to be a thing. Here we go. Here we go. We're in the pipe. This just take me all the way back to the beginning? You son of a bitch. This takes me back to the beginning after putting an arrow there and a death marker on the other one. I'm going to be very angry. You motherfucker. Now this is my job. Hey! Suck it. This is really fun. This is my job, yeah. I've been doing this full time for... This year will be seven years. Oh wait, now I get the, I have the boots. Now I have the boots. I have the slime boots. Oh, I want to, I get what I need to do there. I need to spin jump off the bubble. So I jump off the bubble, then spin jump off the bubble. Then we go here. And we go here. And we go... I almost had it. But I was crushing that. Alright. Okay. Alright, we're getting reads here. <laughs> oh my god, that was gold. That was a very, 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 very solid troll. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna be calm right there. Oh, I got the boots. You received the magic turtle boots. Insert Zelda stuff. Now we can finally come back to the shell level. It's kind of funnier that they didn't. Okay. Is a selfless act really selfless if it feels good to do? No, man. That's what I tell that's what like I get I get a little credit for the charity stuff I've done over the years. But like in all reality chat. I'm doing it out of a completely selfish fucking reason. 
Because it makes me feel really fucking good to be a part of something bigger than myself like that. I had no idea what was happening right there. That shell literally just came under my butt. I got super lucky on that. Preview this level, chat. Preview this level. Wait. Mario got a new job? That was the single best cutscene I have ever seen in a fucking video game right there. I just want to be clear. That cutscene was fucking amazing. How else would you get to the desert? You gotta take a taxi. Where's the lore of this game gonna go? Hit the subscribe button to find out. And be sure to check out the video of me playing the best $3 game ever, Vampire Survivors.